expect to see this on the internet today. What is up, back David Confuse? Okay, so you're like, where have you been? What have you been doing? I know. I had to take a little break. Um, as you guys know, Jesse V got married, my cousin, the infamous Queen V got married. I was the MC at her wedding. It was such an amazing experience and an honor to do, and I had such a good time doing it. So I took some time kind of before that to prepare a speech and do all that and get in the game. And then almost like directly after that, I got really sick and I lost my voice and I'm just getting it back now. That's why I kind of sound like, you know, someone who gargles with thumbtacks or someone who started smoking when they were an infant. Um, but I'm feeling a little better. I'm starting to get a little bit of my voice back. So I figured it's been too long. I need to put up a video. Let's do it. Okay. So somebody, I can't remember who it was. It was one of you guys that said, I need to check this out. And I have it up on my laptop right here in front of me. It's my plastic family. Now it is basically a, a husband and wife that have known each other forever that they don't have kids, they have dolls. They collect dolls of all shapes and sizes and um, this is what they do. They This is their family and they take these dolls to the store and they like treat them like they're their kids. So of course when I heard about this video I said I have to see it and I have to make a reaction to it. So here is me watching this video and my reaction, okay? You know, most people are probably a little bit taken aback about the dolls. It's such a good little plastic cook. I'm not shy oh. about showing people, especially when I get that, that dreaded question of, oh, what do you do for fun? Well, let me show you what I do for fun. It was overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> if we're, if we're going Pause. Pause. <laughs> I love how the friend is trying to be so polite. Like, oh, how was it? It was, uh... Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Like, that's the best thing he could think of to say. <laughs> like, he walks into this, like, museum of dolls that his buddy looks like a biker or, like, the bass player in a punk band. And he's like, no, it was, uh, overwhelming. No, it was cool. If we're, if we're going to be the creepy doll people, we're going to own it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Sure. What's the... the guy has a mohawk and like shoulder tats, and he's like, "This is this is Baker, nope. and this is Polly Marie." Mm -hmm. Sandy over here, which is the, the first of the big dolls we brought home, and then Stella Irene. So this is this is our youngest Sirocco. Oh. This is this is Malachi's favorite. This is Sarah Ann. She has twist wrists. Really draws Malachi to yeah, her because she can more posable do quite a bit. Express yeah. She's a daddy. It's on the wrist. She's a daddy's girl. Absolutely. My love of dolls actually was probably kicked off by Malachi. I I collected dolls for as long as I can remember. I was always you know obsessed by dolls, particularly vintage dolls, even as a kid. I guess, you know, exposure on, on my part that he also enjoys them now, too. I had the quintessential male upbringing in the U.S. of those are girls' things, here's something manly to play with. So we grew up together, um, and we've been a couple officially now for the last five years. Aww. Our parents... Oh, he's walking here. Even the cat start looking into them like, and finding more. You're like, what is I up that? with that? I want that one. Or oh, here's this one. Look what I found. Um, so, so the majority of our, our collection together, especially the large dolls, has been the last three years. She has certain ones that are just hers, and then I have ones that are mine. Yeah, you don't mess with each other's dolls. Keep your dolls. Don't right. touch my dolls. Malachi, don't. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Not my style. 
and then they're no. just a really nice. You're thing. wearing a shirt that has the galaxy on it. What is your style? What's your style, Malachi? Just a really nice medium by which, you know, for instance, we also collect vintage children's clothes because, you know, it's nice to dress the dolls. And then being able to, you know, really you know, restore them, um, repair them, um, it's, it's a very, you know, it's very exciting to see them all come together. They go to, they, they go to clothing stores for kids, like vintage clothing stores, and buy, like, out different outfits for each doll. Well, yeah, I mean, even dolls need to have a wardrobe, right? Here I am with all my action figures and everything, and they're wearing the same clothes I bought them in. What am I, a savage? What am I, from, from the middle of the desert where nobody knows that wardrobes exist? Where, where what am I, what, live in the Arctic and all I can wear is, like, just fur in order to stay warm? No. I have to go and I have to get different clothing options for all of my action figures. If Batman doesn't have like a sequin dress to wear, I have failed as just a human being. To see them all come together. Yeah, that work. Okay. The doll just looks so unimpressed. The doll just looks like, it's like dad. Oh my god, you're embarrassing me. The doll... The doll just looks so unimpressed. The doll just looks like... It's like, Dad. Oh my god, you're embarrassing me. So we have um, several uh, friends and neighbors that are going to come by. Um, two of our friends are very big doll people themselves. Um, so they're very excited to come. Uh, to our, our tea party, which is also my birthday. Malachi's good friend, Mikey, is also going to come down. He's known Mikey for, for many, many years now, and I think Mikey is eager to meet the dolls for himself. So it's her birthday, and she's inviting other doll people, and that's what they call themselves, doll people, to come over and have like a doll party for her birthday. And here I was wasting my time having like meals out at restaurants like a moron when I should have been having cabbage patch doll parties like a party animal but here I am like a like a fool going bowling or something stupid how's it going? hey Mikey! Hey. Hey. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Hey. 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 Yeah, I'm really sure Mikey's like super eager. He's like, you know what? Just I hate to cancel again because I know I'm gonna have so much fun meeting your dolls, but I have a root canal that I postponed so many times. The fact that they are so candid and really don't care what other people think. Just makes me love it even more. That's one of the reasons why I love both of them. They're some of the weirdest, most upfront people. They're good friends of mine, but it's still creepy. <laughs> they don't want to meet the dolls? Rude. That's your family, that's your spouse, dude. You respect your dolls, dude. I love how there's now another guy at the party this time with a blue mohawk, like, he's from, like, a metal band, and he's wearing a Barbie t-shirt. Like, he's just like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I am too much party for this party. That's what is just, like, overall is just like, I am here. I am the party. You're welcome for me being here. You're welcome. Let that be a lesson to you. If you have a hobby or something you're interested in that's just, yeah, it's weird, whatever, and people don't get it, who cares? If it's your thing, just run with it. It doesn't even matter what people think about it. If you go home and have a good time doing it and it's not hurting you or hurting somebody else, then 
embrace it. Who cares what people think? If you need to collect 200 dolls, name them Sarah Ann, start an Instagram and make blueberry pancakes on Instagram, you're too much party for the party. But just do it with a Mohawk, you know? They're living in 2045, where they have kids that don't poop, don't cry, don't whine, they just, they're easy to get dressed, they'll go along with everything you gotta do, they never get big, you can cuddle them all the time, like, they're living in the future here. We have human babies that puke and poop and cry at you, and smack you, and bite you. Not these ones, not these two, Malachi and what's her name? They got it down pat. So anyway, that's my reaction to my plastic family. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, I love you, and at least our dogs are werewolves. Peace.